What's up, my tech heart rock stars? Tonight, we're continuing with the 2025 Arch Linux installation series, and we're going to look at a new desktop environment called Cosmic. It's by Pop76. Is that right? No, Pop OS. System76, baby! But it's a new DE. It's pretty fresh, it's cool, but the installation isn't as straightforward as like KDE Plasma or some of the more known DEs. So we're going to try it. However, the Arch Wiki is about that long. So we're going to have to figure out how to do it on the fly. So if you're feeling fresh, come along for the ride, but we're going to have to figure it out as we go. Come on over with me. I'll catch you in the screen capture, and let's try to get this cosmic desktop environment installed on our vanilla Arch Linux installation, baby. Are y'all ready? Let's go! Uh, am I done? Okay. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Okay, my beautiful humans, here we are in the vanilla Arch Linux installation. I'll get logged in, and then I'm gonna do one command just to make it easier on y'all. Yeah, we'll make that font a little bit bigger. And let's jump on over to the Arch Wiki because tonight we're installing the Cosmic Desktop Environment, baby. Cosmic is a DE developed in the Rust programming language using the iced cross-platform GUI library for Rust and blah, 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 blah. It's a Wayland bad boy, moving into the future. Cosmic is put out by the company System76 and the Pop! OS Linux distribution. The Arch Wiki tells us that we can install Cosmic via Cosmic-Session or the Cosmic Group. I believe the Cosmic Group contains everything and the Cosmic Session is like the non-meta group where you might have to install some of this extra independent components or other things later. At any rate, we're gonna install the full Cosmic Group. So let's get going on that, shall we? I'm gonna jump back over into our Arch Linux and before we install any desktop environment, we're going to do a sudo pacman-syyu to completely update the system. We're already there, so we can run a sudo pacman-s on cosmic. Oh yeah! I'm going to select all of these. When you're doing your install, say you didn't want part of it, you could deselect certain numbers. But for us tonight, we're installing everything! Now, for our Vulkan driver, if we had AMD, we'd select number one. If we had an NVIDIA card, we'd select number two. I have Intel, so number five for me. And the screen capture has a couple different cutoff, but uh, if you had Radeon, it's number seven, and you'll be able to see all that. But for me, I'm on Intel on my ThinkPad laptop, so I'll select number five. Ooh, look at that. In our vanilla Arch Linux installation, we had installed some Pulse Audio stuff. So, Pulse Audio is messing this up. I'm going to say yes to remove Pulse Audio, and that fails. So, we're going to do a sudo pacman r on Pulse Audio Bluetooth because we installed two Pulse Audio packages. So, we'll remove Pulse Audio Bluetooth, and I'm going to clear the screen now. And then we're going to do a sudo pacman r on Pulse Audio just to get all that Pulse Audio stuff out of there. And now we can rerun sudo pacman s on the cosmic group. And again, I'll select all here. I'll select five for my Intel, just like before. And Bob's your uncle. We can do that installation now, baby. I'm going to let it run and I'll catch y'all in the flip. Flip flop. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna clear the screen. And I know that Cosmic uses the Cosmic-Greeter login manager or display manager or whatever it is. So I'm gonna do a sudo systemctl status on Cosmic-Greeter. Okay, it's loaded but disabled. So let's make sure we enable that. We'll do a sudo systemctl enable Cosmic-Greeter. Now I believe we could just do a sudo systemctl start cosmic-greeter, which will now load every time we reboot the system, but I think we can start it this way. And look at that, Bob's your uncle, baby. Since I'm on a screen capture, you might not see the password, but I'll get logged in. 
And here we are, we're in Cosmic. Now, if we would have installed that Cosmic-Session package group, some of these things down here on the taskbar would not have been populated. I do suggest that we install the entire Cosmic for this, and uh, BAM, Bob's your uncle. That was pretty simple, no? Let's jump back over to the ArchWiki very quickly, just to read up. As I mentioned, if you would have installed the Cosmic-Session group, you would have lost some of this stuff down here. But we have it all installed, and uh, the starting part, that was where we enabled the display manager, Cosmic-Greeter. Uh, you could have also typed Start-Cosmic, but now that should load every time we reboot, and we'll do that here in a minute. Uh, configuration, yeah, it doesn't say much more here. So, we're installed. I'm going to jump back over to Cosmic. Boom! And let's check it out, shall we? Let's try to find some settings. Okay, here we are. I'm just going to step through real quick. We can select different wallpapers, but I like this one just enough. No? Ah, there we go. We'll try out one of these others. I like that a little better. Let's go to appearance. We're already on dark mode, so that's good. We can select accent colors. What do you think about these windows in the Cosmic desktop environment? I quite like them. I want to open up a terminal real quick. Yeah, I like these. These are pretty neat, man. This is a nice little DE. It feels pretty light. It has options that are nifty and neat. We can change our panel. I think the panel's down here, no? No, that's not the panel. Oh, wait, what's the panel? No, that's not the panel down here. It seems to have snapping. So if I drag a window up here to the upper right, cool. If I drag it over here in the middle, cool. Probably if I drag it up top, cool. I quite like this. It's kind of like a tiling window manager, but not really. Um, it's simple, it's easy, it looks good. Let's check out what comes with the system. I'm gonna close down our settings now, and I'm gonna open up applications. Uh, we have library home, it shows cosmic files. Yeah, that's a file browser, nifty. Cosmic settings, cosmic store. This is how we'll install applications if we don't wanna use the CLI, so that's cool. I prefer to use the CLI, however. We have the Cosmic Terminal, the Cosmic Text Editor. Nothing in Office. I guess we could install LibreOffice. Settings just has printing stuff. Utilities, we have Vim installed. Cosmic Screenshot, and that's about it. Do we have a browser? No browser is installed. We can install Firefox with sudo pacman-s Firefox. As we notice down here, the Firefox icon is not populated, so let's get that installed. Okay, it's still not populated. Let's do a full system reboot and uh, see Cosmic fire up by itself. We'll do a sudo reboot now. There's our grub theming from the last video. Boom, we got our Plymouth looks encryption unlock theme. Front and center, baby. Cosmic greeter boots right up. Now you can see my password, and we are in the system. This is really nice. It feels light, it feels snappy, and I like it. So look, that installation was pretty simple pimple. Now we have Firefox populated down here. You can open up a browser. And yeah, look at what we're doing with this Arch Linux installation. This one was pretty easy. I think that Cosmic is a desktop environment to check out. I like how the windows open up. I like some of these snappy tiling window manager little features. It looks nice. And I like how the windows look. And I like how other windows open up. And yeah. What do you guys think about Cosmic as your desktop environment? Would you want to play around with this? Would you want to use it? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, this was a quickie. And I have to say, Tech Heart out! Bye-bye.